Erythromyalgia, also referred to as Burning Man Syndrome, is a rare neurovascular condition characterized by episodes of intense burning pain, swelling, and redness of extremities, primarily affecting the feet and, less commonly, the hands. These episodes are usually triggered by increased body temperature, exercise, warm room temperature, and ingestion of spicy food or alcohol can also trigger an episode. In some patients, onset may be gradual, while others might experience a sudden onset, possibly becoming severe over weeks. Specific causes of erythromyalgia are unknown. It is thought to be caused by dysfunction in the narrowing and widening ability of certain blood vessels, causing them to become inflamed. Erythromyalgia is more common in women than in men and most often occurs in adults. More than 20 different mutations in SCN9A gene have been attributed to primary erythromyalgia. This gene mutation is believed to be the primary cause of erythromyalgia in about 15% of cases. A fault in the sodium channel causes nerves to become hyperactive, creating horrific feelings of pain in response to the slightest stimulation or even no stimulation at all. In its secondary form, Erythromyalgia is associated with myeloproliferative disorders, a group of condition that cause blood cells to grow abnormally. Some examples of myeloproliferative disorder are myelofibrosis, polycythemia vera, and essential thrombocythemia. In 85% of cases, erythromyalgia manifests before the appearance of myeloproliferative disorder. Secondary erythromyalgia can be seen in association with other comorbidities such as autoimmune disorders, small fiber peripheral neuropathy, Fabry's disease, mercury poisoning, mushroom poisoning, and sciatica. However, the relationship with these diseases is still unclear. Certain medications such as bromocryptine, certain calcium channel blockers, topical isopropanol, and pergolide can also trigger secondary erythromyalgia. Erythromyalgia is diagnosed through clinical examination. Complete blood count with differential is essential to look for evidence of myeloproliferative disorder. Radiography of affected areas is helpful but might not yield specific findings. Thermography and skin biopsy can also be conducted to establish diagnosis. Treatment of erythromyalgia is mainly medical and supportive. Cooling by immersing in ice or water is helpful but can sometimes trigger symptom episodes. The environment must be temperature controlled to avoid warm condition. For thrombosis-related erythromyalgia, aspirin is helpful. In patients with myeloproliferative disorders, chemotherapy may be helpful in relieving the symptoms. Surgery is only indicated to treat rare complication of gangrene. In about 10% of the cases, patients may achieve spontaneous remission of their symptoms, never to be affected again. Compounds that interact with sodium channels to alleviate pain are currently in clinical trials. Hope you liked our video. Share this information with your loved ones. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.